All right. If you want to find out just why I'm this goosed, well, stay tuned because this video is a tiring one. Watch this. So today, myself and Anna here, we found ourselves down in Plymouth to try a bit of cyclocross then, but not just any cyclocross. No, we ain't messing around, Anna. We've come to the Southwest <laughs> Championships. Yikes. What are we doing here? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, what is GMBN doing on drop handlebars? Well, personally, I think these are more off-road bikes than gravel bikes. I mean, these guys are racing 40 to 60 minutes on tight technical Oof. courses on grass, mud, sand, snow. I mean, this isn't just blatting down fire roads, is it? No, not at all. And anyone can have a go at cyclocross that's the beauty of it, actually for pretty much any event you can turn up on almost any bike so you could rock up on your mountain bike on your commuter bike whatever you can have a go it's only when you start getting to the bigger more serious races that there are some rules and regulations that you do need to follow so talking about the bikes Anna should yeah. we check yours out yeah sure go let's on, do then. it so I've got the Canyon in-flight CF SLX9. This is like the team replica that Man Matthew Vanderpool has been racing, which is like, you know, former world champion. Uh, so I've got big shoes to fill. Now, the difference between this and a gravel bike is that the bottom bracket tends to be a bit higher. You'll get a steeper head angle as well, so that it's nice and cornery and fast. And um, generally you need 33C is your maximum tire width. Um, so pretty skinny, actually. I'm a bit worried about riding around all these slippy corners. Uh, but over to Rich's bike, see what he, he's got. I'm riding the Orbea Terra. Do you know what? I can't actually tell you anything about it because I have no idea. I borrowed this off Alex Payton from GCN Tech. Wouldn't be able to tell you the head angle, bottom bracket, seat stay lengths, absolutely nothing other than it's got some 31 mil tires on it. I chucked my power meter pedals on. I've not even ridden it yet, but watch this. Cyclocross, originally a winter sport running from roughly October through to February, is originally thought to have started in the early 1900s as a way for roadies to continue to race and keep fit in those darker months, racing from town to town. Slowly, the sport has evolved over the years. Now, cyclocross is a huge thing in Europe with massive popularity. Big names like Thomas Pidcock, Matthew Van Der Poel, and Pauline ferrand Prevost, all massive mountain bikers, are also all succeeding in the world of cyclocross. I mean, the sheet's written anyway. You, Look after it, that's my pride sure. and joy. Is this bike or wrist? Back by now, ankle. Ankle. Left ankle. Ankle, okay. Left ankle. Like being at prison. Left arm, back. Left arm. Left arm. And back. Shoulder and your back. Gotcha, yeah. okay, all right. Cool, thanks guys, see you later. See you later. Right, here we go, I've got my Ankle tag, that's how they do it, it's like across. Left arm and back, all the numbers going on. Let's go get it up and get ready for practice. I'm actually really nervous, like nervous, excited. I've not done like an elbow to elbow race since like 2017. I've been on like a purely enduro diet for like five years. So uh, yeah, I've not done this kind of sprint and I only sprint downhill. And then a push, and then it's like, oosh, pick up this, jump. She's on it. So seamless. Mew. You ready yet? Ridge, can we go yet? I'm got these clothes on. Look, look, I'm a crosser, look. I could cut glass right now, the state <laughs> I'm in. That number goes on me left arm, doesn't it? Yeah. Which one's that? I just stabbed myself in the hand now. Benito. Oosh. Mm. It's time for practice, Anna. Yes. I'm nervous, I'm excited. I'm nervous, I'm excited. Wow, you <laughs> are a nightmare to race with already. <laughs> Yay, come right. on then. Uh, well, let's go cruise on around. Have a look at the course. Now, interestingly, Newnham did hold first mountain bike World Cup cross country race. Oh, check you out with the noise. You want to come over to tech? No, not in the slightest. <laughs> Off camera. Oh god. What oh, is it you said about staying dry and oh, it's alright, I've got my warm-up shorts on. Oh my god. <laughs> you want warm-up shorts? Yeah. I don't really understand why in cyclocross they just make you go through loads of stuff. Um, because that's the closest we can get to a winter sport in the country. Oh wow. That seems unnecessary. Sorry, bud. I'm all over the show, look. Dodge. This is just me. Yeah. Seems really unnecessary. Can you imagine how much quicker I'd have been on my XC bike? See ya.
Dig inside there, look. Worth knowing. Oh, they're so big! Ah, I'm gonna need to jump on them. Oh my god! First rule of cyclocross. Take it steady. Ah. Now onto twisted ankle. A bit wet. They seem to just put you to go through lots of puddles. <laughs> it's a winter spot. It's, it's the it is, that is a right track. Um, actually quite longer than I thought. Some good yeah. techers bits, some good sprinty bits, those boards are higher. I was thinking of the hop on them, but they are considerably higher than I was expecting them to be, so might just run them. Excuse me. We were... Otherwise, it was all good. Big inside lines knocking around here and there, so that was cool. Yeah, easily taking some enduro lines past all the roadies. Yeah, you can, you can see the difference between a mountain bike and a road rider. <laughs> yeah, but they're powerful. Yeah, they were like sprinting everywhere. <laughs> Not clean anymore, but hey-ho, I'm looking forward to it a bit more now. Nice. A mountain bike would legit be way more fun though. You wouldn't be slip sliding everywhere. You'd have loads of grip in the turns. You'd smash all the off cameras. You'd have a bit more drag on some of the straights, but I do think an XC mountain bike would be faster. So you want to race XC instead? <laughs> Basically, I turned up to this race and got my letters the wrong way around. <laughs> Bugger. Race time's upon us. Yes. How you doing? Yes. Are they you just up like explode onto the scene and they're gonna be like, who's this chick, oh my God. Okay, uh, so then, you go for the whole shot. And then I'll be like, mm -hmm. oh, right. Bolly, right. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, yeah. Normally I would try and get whole shots and go from there, but I feel like there's a lot of speedy people here. We don't really know how we're going to be gridded. So this, we're in with this lot, everyone behind us. So it's a big old mass start, crazy sprint off, and then it gets very tight. So overtaking is going to be tricky, but I think we'll be all right. Yeah, I want to be in front of any choppers before we get those corners. That's all right. What if you are one? <laughs> Rising each other. It's true. Okay, well, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Battle our way onto the start grid, I guess. Yeah, Smash it. Yeah. You see, I've been okay. pro free at least. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I did it on my next class. <laughs>
The old puncture at the back there. That. <laughs> I nearly went into a tree like three times. I told you I'd blast off on the first lap and then blow up. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it anymore, Heidi. <laughs> what a horrible sport. Next week then. Never again. <laughs> Got it. Ooh. It turns out cyclocross tires are flimsy as Okay, there we go, race done and dusted. Lessons learned from doing cyclocross, probably run more pressure, although I ran them pretty hard because... Well, you have to inspect. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologise for your wheel now because I did a lap and a half on it like that. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's like some good winter training, I guess. I can see why people, why people do it. It's different, but I'll, uh, I think I'll switch those letters back around for next time and stick to the XC. It was cool. How did Anna get on? Let's find out. Where are you, Anna? How did you go, Anna? Dude, I came second. No way. Nice yeah. one. Well done. Yeah. You enjoy it? Yeah, I did exactly what I said I was going to do and just like flat off the start line, yeah. give it hard for about three minutes and then blow up. <laughs> Basically what I did. Nice. I was oh, like well done. enduro. Oh, nice. <laughs> I heard you got a puncher. Dude, with about a lap and a half oh. or two ish to go, and I was doing right as well, so I was got gutted. Loads of grip in there. The best way, isn't it, one? Okay. Oh, look at that. Whoa! Whoa, it's floating away! <laughs> Whoa! Too light! <laughs> That's what cyclocross is doing it like this. So, post race carb load. Okay, and in second place is Anna Chipulo. Well done, Anna. I think you're right if it's. Well, I don't know, I think. Here we go. <laughs> the same race, but for the Southwest Champ. Look at that, we're done for the day and we got podium. Well Yay! done, Anna. That was well good. <laughs> Get you your bag of goodies. We are I very so on brand. brand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a pretty grim day. Look, did you like the video? Do you like a bit of cyclocross? Let us know in the comments down below. Do you reckon they'd want to see more? I don't know. Wow, well, I'm do sure you, do they'll you think tell it's us. Off-road. Tell us if it's off-road. Yeah, give us your thoughts on a bit of cyclocross. But that's it from us now. We're gonna go grab a cup of tea because all good videos end in a cup of. Let's get a cup. See you later, everybody. Bye.